Hi, welcome to a series of videos about using the large data set. It says the pre-release material contains information about the national health and nutrition. The, the table below shows an ab extract from the data. So here we've got like the weights, okay? So it says, uh, explain how the data should be cleaned before any an analysis can take place. Well, here we've got one piece of data that we don't actually have the weight for. So that would have to be removed before um, actually doing any an analysis. And then it says, use your calculate, calculate, to calculate the mean and the standard deviation of the weight, which is in kilograms, giving your answer to correct to two decimal places. So, having just said uh, that the uh, female marked with not available or need, needs to be removed before doing any analysis, Okay, if we use the calculator, now I'm using the Casio FX CG50, you need to go to the stats mode. And then in the first column, you need to enter the data carefully in the first column here. Okay, you will need to set it up so that here it's just reading the uh, first data only. So you'll need to set the um, frequency one just to one. And then you should come up with this set of statistics. So, uh, from this, now, you can just write down the answer in an exam, particularly if it's only worth two marks, but we should note that the mean is actually the sum of x over n, so you can get all the information from here. Now, this would not be expected in an exam, so x bar would be 767.2 divided by 11. Okay, so we've got 11 bits of data, and that gives you 69.75 kilograms. So the mean will be this one. You need to round it to two decimal places in this case. And then the standard deviation formula is this one here. Sigma x squared minus uh, n, at the mean squared over n minus 1. Take the square root of all of that. And therefore, in this case, the numbers will be got here from the calculator. Minus 11 times the mean squared. Don't round off over 11 minus 1, and then that would give you... Now, there's two standard deviations. So for MEI board, you'll be using this one. Most other ones will use this. So M O C R M E M E I use this one here. So it'll be 15.67 kilograms. Uh, but in an exam, you would just be required to give that one and that one only. You can just read it straight through calculator. Make sure you've rounded it to the required amount of decimal places though okay so then it says the heights of the same people also analyzed given the following summary statistics here calculate the mean height and the variance of the heights and then we're going to use a scatter plot of the weight against y against height x is plotted and the line of best fit is determined to be uh, y is equal to 0 0.799 x minus 64 point four nine six so x is the height here the height of the uh, of the female whose weight is not available is 169 and therefore we're going to estimate her weight uh, given our answer correct to two decimal places so for part c finding the mean height to begin with we will have to use this data so we will need to know what the formula are for the mean so the mean is sigma x over n so we'll need to do this one divided by this one so it's going to be 2016.3 divided by 12 it's by 12 now because we now have back that we actually know the height of the one that was missing their weight and that will be equal to 168.025 now, we weren't asked to round off, so normally we'll just uh, round to three significant figures, if not said in, in a particular question. Now, the variance is the standard deviation squared, so there will be this formula, sigma x minus n times x bar squared. Over n minus 1. Okay, so that will be uh, 3,300, uh, sorry, 33, uh, 339,698.15 that we get that from the data given in the question times 12 times our mean that we just calculated squared divided by 12 minus 1. That will give me 82.6675. 
which will give me 82.7 centimetres. Again, here we weren't asked to round it off to um, two decimal places. So in the last part, we got that the uh, line of best fit is 0.77x plus 64.49. Six. This uh, X stands for the height, Y stands for the weight. So the height given was of the missing person was given as 169. So what we need to do is substitute 169 in there. So the estimate will be, show the working, which is 0 0.779 times 169 minus 64.496, which will give me 70.535. We were asked to give it to two decimal places, so that will be 70.54 kilograms. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to use the large data set and how to calculate things from the like mean and the standard deviation from it. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching, and maybe you could consider subscribing to my channel.